Christmas is this weekend, so these new moms and dads are taking home a gift that they will never forget. I'm Hannah Puchkowski for WPXI.com, and the rain is not keeping away these music fans. Here on the intersection of Madison and Newell, the students from Carnegie Mellon University will be able to come back and see the house they once designed. I'm Hannah Puchkowski for WPXI.com, here in Cranberry Township for the annual Relay for Life. One fundraiser that raises seven to eight thousand dollars is the Luminaria. Iowa Senators are making jobs their number one priority. As you can see here at the job fair, many are in attendance. The person running this computer is designing a home. Right now I am uh, putting in the metal siding into the Rhino model, which is our 3D model of the, uh, of the project. CMU student Dan Quaintance is doing a class project. This architecture class is designing a home, a design that takes shape next fall in Lawrence County. That's where Habitat for Humanity transforms the design into a house for a deserving family. These students are designing unique features for this home. It's an eco-friendly house. That it has the proper alignment with sunlight so that we introduce a lot of sunlight in the winter to heat the space and then um, eliminate it in the summer to reduce the, the peak heat demands. It will be Lawrence County's first eco-friendly habitat house. Here on the intersection of Madison and Newell, the students from Carnegie Mellon University will be able to come back and see the house they once designed, right here. In the past, we haven't been able to kind of go into the nitty-gritty, um, the details of realizing a project, and you know, coming down to you know, understanding where every you know every nail, every screw, every you know nothing bolt is in place. We've been up there for a blitz build. Uh, the students have been up there for the um, uh, polar bear plunge, and we go up there for meetings uh, regularly. Uh, we thought it'd be a unique opportunity, so we came here to have a little fun and you know see what it's all about. Students still plan on visiting Lawrence County even after the home has been built that very corner, like just that edge, and I'd be like, you know, we spent like 10 hours arguing about that, and it's just going to be, I'm just going to, like, like the flashbacks are just going to be, it's going to be good. <laughs> a project that will be good for a deserving family. Habitat officials hope to begin construction later this year. Reporting from Carnegie Mellon University, I'm Hannah Puchkowski for the Newcastle News. This holiday season, some Des Moines residents are planning to bring home a present that cannot be wrapped, a new baby. Des Moines Mercy Hospital Women and Infant Center delivered 92 babies this week, six as of this morning. Nothing better than taking a new baby home. And I can speak from experience because I had a son 22 years ago on Christmas Day. Women and Infant Center staff are doing their part to make the holiday special. Parents receive a Christmas-themed hat for the children and an ornament. Any kind of remembrance that you can have of that special day, um, especially when it falls on a holiday, is really nice to take home from the hospital. So, yeah, I think they're very cherished by, by parents when we send them home with them, especially since they've got the footprints on there. That makes them really personal. So. One family plans to take home their newborn tomorrow, Christmas Eve. Oh man, it's going to be hectic, but we'll manage. <laughs> Tristan Jr. was born yesterday, weighing in at 6 pounds, 14 ounces. They not only have their new son, but also a 14-month-old daughter at home. It's going to be awesome with all the little babies. I got my princess, and now my little prince, and everything's going to be perfect. Christmas is this weekend, so these new moms and dads are taking home a gift that they will never forget. For Channel 13 News, I'm Hannah Puchkowski.